G'day! Today we're going to look at how to remove unwanted ambient or background noise from your audio feed but things like when you're streaming to Twitch TV or you're doing YouTube videos and stuff like that. One thing that I struggle with being in Australia in summer it gets bloody hot here and I don't have air conditioning so having my fan running yeah, which I do actually have right now, that sound used to come through the microphone and I kind of gets, you know, viewers saying, what's that hissing noise? Because you'd hear this shh sort of sound. It wasn't very nice to listen to. So I used to do a hack job by having music playing over the top of it. But, you know, when you're playing a nice quiet game, it kind of ruins that. So what I found is a program that actually lets me filter out while I'm speaking, it lets me filter out the noise of my fan. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So the program in question is called Reaper, R-E-A-P-E-R. Before we get into the meat of this tutorial, there's two things that you need to do before you can even start fiddling with Reaper. Before you start, uh, download and install Reaper, you need to have a virtual cable. So virtual audio cable, you've got two options. There's VAC, I have links to this in the description, or there's VB audio cable. My preference is VB audio cable because you get one cable for free and you only need one cable to do this stuff with Reaper that we're doing. The second thing is when you install Reaper, you need to go into the preferences, Reaper preferences, go to the audio device settings, which is toward the top, and we need to change, I think it's about four things. The first thing is the audio system. We need to use WASAP which is Windows 7, 8 Vista. What's up here? Uh, make sure that mode is on shared mode. Mode. Your input device needs to be your microphone. So for me, I'm using the Blue Yeti. The audio, sorry, the output device is going to be your virtual cable. Hence, you need to have it installed before you do Reaper. And the last thing is the block size. We want to change the block size so that it's the same in Reaper and the same in your virtual cable configuration settings. So if you don't know how to do that, you'll need to go to VAC or VB audio cable websites and find out how to go into the configuration files. But make sure, in my case, I, I picked 2048. It's not the default setting, um, but in VB audio cable, I also have the same block size. So it's 2048 in there as well. If they're not the same, you can have problems with clicking and popping. If it's too small, you can have problems with clicking and popping. So it's just, um, just be careful with those things. Once you have all of that, we can get started with with the Reaper Guide. And this is um, my finished setup, so there's actually not a lot you need to do. You just have to create an audio track, which is this thing here. You arm the audio track by turning it on. If I turn it off, you can't hear me speak. So even though I said something, then you couldn't hear it. The third thing you do is we record, we monitor the recording so that's what this green bar is and then the last thing we do is we apply some filters some effects and the effects that i have we've got three this one here is what is filtering out my fan noise this one here prevents the rip headphones moment you know where you scream into the microphone and when normally it would go red on the left which is what would cause you problems on the right hand side it didn't go red which means that uh, headphone users are safe and the third thing that we applied that I applied here is a compressor so you notice on the left my this is the raw input from my microphone it's very low it's very quiet and on the right hand side it's much higher it's much louder and clearer and so I did those three things so how do we do that so to begin with once you get Reaper um, install it do all that good stuff and you won't have this track here so what you have to first do is press Control T Control T uh, starts a new track then you want to arm record the track so we click on the arm record button then you want to monitor the, re the recording as well so this little broken speaker you just need to click it so it's on and then the third thing you do is click this FX button and we click that and it brings up the um, effects that you can actually apply now we're going to do this from beginning to end let me get rid of the second track I'm actually going to show you how I did it with mine just so I can keep talking and um, I don't have to do extra audio recordings to do <laughs> to, to record me recording my audio we're going to do this from here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my three I'm actually going to turn them off and we're going to reproduce 
another three. The second lot of three is what you can follow along with. Okay, This is what we're aiming for. The next three is how we do these things. So you notice as I turn these off, the first thing that you're going to notice is that, um, so for example, if I turn off this one, this is this fan filtering noise, you're going to start hearing the noise from my fan. And there it is. So now when I stop speaking, you notice that the green uh, audio here, the, the measurements, they never completely disappear. And you can hear my fan as well as some birds. If I turn it back on, if I stop speaking, apart from the bird, perfect timing, really? <laughs> apart from the bird noise, if I stop speaking, you don't hear anything. And even while I'm speaking, you can't hear the fan in the background. Now it does affect the voice quality a little bit, and that's simply because the frequency, the um, the, the the sound frequencies that my fan is running at overlap a little bit with my voice. So you notice all this yellow, that's my voice, and you kind of see how it's dancing above and below the red. Anything below the red gets filtered, which is meant to be the fan noise. So unfortunately, because of the fan that I have running, it does a little bit of a, a sort of a processing sound. Sometimes it sounds a little bit mechanical or electric, my voice. And I minimized that by just moving where the fan was, changing the speed of the fan, trying to put it onto maybe some... Uh, something to absorb the vibrations, you know, that kind of thing. You kind of have to fiddle with it a bit to, to make it sound better. So we're going to turn that one back off. So once again, you get my lovely voice, uh, fan noise. We're also going to turn off the limiter. That's not the most important thing. It just means that if I speak too loudly now, I will be getting very angry comments from headphone users, so I won't do that. Um, the third thing that I'm going to remove is the compressor. Now when I do this, my voice is going to drop dramatically. It's going to be much quieter. So just to give you a heads up, you might need to turn up your volume in YouTube and I will um, make sure I, I tell you when I'm going to bring my voice back up so I don't, you know, rip headphone users again. So we're going to turn it off now. And you'll hopefully notice that my voice is much quieter. So for this one, this is uh, the first thing that I want to apply. So we're going to click down the bottom left hand corner, add. In the plugins, we're going to go to the filter in the bottom left hand corner and you're going to type the words major, M-A-J-O-R, and that's just for the filter for Major Tom Compressor. Double click on Major Tom Compressor, and here is, uh, the left side is my raw feed, the right side is the processed feed. So the ratio, I'm going to change the ratio to 4. It can be 4, or it can be 3, normally is where we start at. The gain, because my microphone is so quiet, I'm going to turn the gain up. So at this point, once I stop speaking, turn down your volume to where it was before because my volume is about to go up. Okay, so now my volume is back where it used to be and you also get the sound of the fan in the background because that was also lowered. Uh, the last thing we're going to change is the knee. I'm going to change it to a soft knee. That's just my personal preference. I kind of feel like it's, it's a little less, I don't know, mathematical that doesn't make any sense when talking about audio but <laughs> it just it sounds a little bit better okay I laughed there and I clipped so we now need to apply the limiter so we're going to click add again and this time we're going to change the filter from major to just type limit l-i-m-i-t and we're going to go to where it says soft clipper limiter double click to add it and for this one, the output brick wall, I'm going to change mine to minus 1. You might find that you need to change yours to minus 5 or 6. It kind of depends on just how much yelling you are prone to do and how much complaints you get from your viewers. So now you notice if I <laughs> laugh again, that was the best laugh ever, uh, it clipped on the, the raw footage, uh, raw audio, but it didn't clip on the processed one. Okay, the last thing I want to do is get rid of this damn fan. So again, we're going to click Add. And this time in the filter, we're going to type Refear. R-E-A-F-I-R. R-E-A-F-I-R. And um, it's the only one that comes up. Once again, double click to add it. 
And for this one, um, it's going to stop recording my voice when I change a setting. So just to give you a heads up, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do first. The first thing I need to do is change the size. Now this size is connected with your virtual audio cable. So if you do not have a virtual audio cable, you will need to get that first before you do any of these Reaper settings. Um, I'm presuming that everybody has virtual audio cable because most streamers do these days. I'm using VB audio cable just because it's free. Um, but if you use virtual audio cable, VAC, that's fine as well. Both of those work. Now the settings for this one, um, with my settings, I actually have them set up. Oh, I don't have it here. Um, I've set up, I've tried to limit the latency a little bit. So my size is actually 2048. Okay, so you might need to change that depending on what your settings are, but just make sure that the settings for this EQ Dynamics effect is the same as the settings within your virtual audio cable or your um, VB audio cable settings, the, the configuration file for that. Now, we're going to change mode here from EQ, we're going to change it to subtract. As soon as I do that, my voice is going to disappear. Uh, the second thing I'm going to do is we're going to see there's a little extra option that pops up next to this mode and it says something like automatically adjust audio levels or, or something like that. When you click on that, that's what's going to measure the sound spectrum and uh, the sound waves, I guess we could say. And while you have that checked, it's measuring the fan noise. So you do not want to speak don't speak during that time and then when you've got about 30 seconds and it looks like the red is not really moving anywhere else that's when you uncheck it and then that's um, secured and you can then start speaking freely so that's the process I'm about to do And there you have it. So now you don't have the, the sound of my fan anymore. Um, but it might sound a little bit more processed. My voice might sound a little bit different. But the main thing is I just don't want that fan noise. That's all it is. <laughs> so we've got that point now. So this is all we need. We have the compressor, which boosts the volume of my voice. We have the limiter, which protects headphone users from those rip headphone user moments. And then we have the... the I don't even, what the hell do you call this thing? We have this reefer thing, the reefer thing um, that removes the, the unwanted noise. Okay, so if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I, to be honest, am not, I'm not an audio engineer, so I would really recommend, have a look at the links that I've given in the description of this video. It's got a lot of uh, very useful information that will help you to then experiment with these settings and find things that work for you. Um, the other thing that I haven't put on here is a noise gate and that's also another option. That's something I'm going to do in a future video when we talk about um, auto ducking which is going to be um, another thing in our streaming series. But hopefully you found this useful. Thank you very much for, for listening and for watching and enjoy the rest of your morning, day, afternoon, evening, whatever the case may be. And I'll hopefully see you next time.